10. Thanks for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Laura Thomas. We begin tonight with an update on a traffic alert on I-85 in Greenville. SCDOT has now reopened the I-385 northbound ramp near Woodruff Road for cars while they make repairs to the bridge. But detours are still in place for big trucks. We're going to take a live look now over that I-385 overpass in Greenville. A little difficult to see in the dark, but this is the area we're talking about tonight as the work there continues. 7 News reporter Christine Brown shows us what the SCDOT is doing to make sure the area is safe for you. Even more of a headache than it was. I have to leave my house like 15 minutes earlier, and it's it's definitely going to cause a lot more congestion than there's already a bunch to begin with. During construction Saturday, SCDOT had to temporarily shut down the 385 northbound ramp off I-85 in Greenville for safety. They found damage to a column on the ramp. There's going to be way worse traffic. The DOT worked to open the ramp for cars by Sunday evening. They wanted to make sure it was ready for Monday rush hour. But repairs to fix the problem are still to come. Until all repairs are made, exit 51C will be closed to all trucks with more than two axles. The damage was found during heavy construction already underway on the I-85, I-385 interchange. It's been slowing down drivers there for weeks. It's crazy all the time, even in, in the morning and at 5 o'clock to 7 o'clock. It's just nuts because everybody's going to work in the morning and in the evenings there's so many restaurants around here and just this is the main flow for Greenville. But the Gateway Project aims to ease the pain of congestion overall by changing the traffic flow of the interchange by 2019. I frankly don't mind that they're doing the construction. I'm glad that they finally are. Our roads have been terrible in this area. In the meantime, SCDOT is asking drivers for patience and caution while traveling around the crowded roads. It's very busy and uh, the construction certainly hasn't helped that, but uh, hopefully in the long run it will, making it a bit more smooth. In Greenville, Christine Brown, 7 News. Again, it's the 85-385 interchange that we're talking about. It's now open tonight for cars. Trucks are still being restricted from driving the ramp. Materials will be brought in tomorrow to, for making those repairs that the SCDOT says they'll start on that early this week. We have much more information on the detours you'll need to know about in case they make those repairs and close that area. We have those listed at our website at WSP.